how this has been your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. SharePoint, your own company website that's only available to internal employees. You can even give it a bit of a social media feel uh, that might be more attractive to some members of your team. So the, traditionally people would have used FTP services or again things like Dropbox or Box.net or, or, or that's just calendar, news, all that sort of thing, which can be very valuable and can increase efficiency with that project. And last but not least, document versioning. A lot of people have this, this challenge with file servers. Unless people save different versions of documents, it's a little harder to do document versioning. Well, SharePoint allows you to do that. So if you ever need to look at a previous version of a document, pull up old changes, that sort of thing, you can do that within SharePoint. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people, a lot of businesses, especially IT people like about SharePoint is there's a whole bunch of flexibility with permissions. So if you wanna give people access to certain parts of your SharePoint site, certain files, that sort of thing. The, the opportunities are endless. There's a whole lot of control that you have, which makes things quite a bit easier. So there you go. There's your intro to SharePoint Online. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please feel free, share it with your friends, social media, by email, post a comment on our website, that sort of thing. And remember, when you're implementing SharePoint Online, it's just